our view is very clear. We think that there is a, uh, what I refer to as the knowing versus doing gap. People know what the right thing to do is. Corporate leaders know um, that they should be thinking longer term. In fact, that's exactly what our research has shown. They believe they should be thinking longer term. Investors believe that they should be thinking longer term. Yet, if you start um, looking into actual behaviors, the behaviors themselves are not reflecting that knowledge. So what we're doing uh, is not connected to what we know is the right thing to do. And it's that gap that we have to close. Ultimately, um, we know that sustainable businesses uh, where capital is invested uh, to support and build sustainable businesses creates jobs. And yet our corporations today are increasingly making decisions that are not about sustainability of the enterprise in the long term. Sustainability of the enterprise means uh, sustainability of economic growth. That means job creation. It's a virtuous circle uh, if you get it right and you think long term, um, but it is exactly the opposite if you don't. I think that if we don't uh, change the trend to shorter and shorter term thinking, um, we are ultimately going to end up in a position where the beneficiaries, the savers, be it pensioners or taxpayers or just individual savers, aren't going to get rewarded appropriately uh, for the monies that they are uh, putting aside for their, for their future. And similarly, uh, society isn't going to benefit um, by having innovation, productivity, capital formation, and so on and so forth. So I think the knock-on effects of this short-term thinking is not just the return on a share price or not just the return to the stock market or uh, margins or earnings per share for, for a corporation. Um, it ultimately is far more than profitability. It really is um, the growth, uh, the economic growth and prosperity of society overall um, that is affected by the short-term thinking. We are trying to be very, very pragmatic in what we're doing here with the Focusing Capital and the long-term project that we are co-sponsoring with McKinsey. And the idea is to come up with practical and pragmatic uh, solutions that can really make a difference and really make a change. First is in the behavior of the institutional investor. Institutional investors, ultimately the asset owners on behalf of savers whose money they are aggregating, need to start acting like owners. They need to start demanding that the managers that they invest in and ultimately the companies that they invest in start thinking long term and aligning their interests with those institutional investors and their ultimate, uh, their ultimate beneficiaries. And so we think that if we can change the behavior of institutional investors to be more long term, that'll have an impact ultimately on corporate decision making. Um, and I should point out that institutional investors ultimately own 73% uh, of the S&P 500 today. Uh, but those investors by and large um, have not been demanding uh, long-term decision-making, and they've got to start doing that. So that's the first place. The second place is in the boardroom of the corporations themselves. And we think that corporate boards uh, need to uh, change the way that they are operating in order to put a greater degree of focus on uh, long-term decision-making. In other words, demand from management teams that those sustainable long-term decisions that get made not by defining a quarter for 90 days, but by defining a quarter uh, for 25 years. We've brought together um, the world's leading uh, institutional investors, um, representing um, uh, leading investors from Asia, from Europe, uh, from North America. And similarly, we've, we've brought together some of the leading uh, corporate CEOs from around the world who represent some of the largest companies around the world. And what we want to do is bring those investors and corporate leaders together uh, to solve this problem. Because ultimately the investors are the owner. Those institutional investors are the owner of the corporations which are, are managed and, and operated by the CEOs. And if we can work together with these leaders, we believe we can come up with, again, those pragmatic and practical solutions that can solve the problem.